The Spain India Forum is a bilateral summit hosted by the Spain India Council Foundation. We have with us today the president of the Spain India Foundation, uh, Mr. Juan Ignacio Enzicanales. Good afternoon, sir, and thank you for speaking with us. Good afternoon. So I wanted to go straight into the questions of this. The Spain India Council, I wanted to understand what are the what is the ultimate objective of holding this kind of bilateral forum and what is it that the foundation wants to do in India? Thank you. The first thing we want to do is to explore cooperation between India and Spain to be global partners. The Council Foundation, Spanish Council Foundation, is a private non non it's a private non-profit organization that has the support of the Spanish Ministry of Foreign Affairs and that has in the Board of Trustees, we have important companies from the private sector that have interest in, in, in India. And also we have administrations like important ministries that go with us when we travel a, around the world, and we, in this case, to come to India. What we, what we want to do in this forum is the, to be a catalyst for promoting bilateral relations between Spain and India in many sectors. And in this case, we have chosen four sectors. The first one is to, to talk about geopolitical aspects like the European Union and Latin America in the Indo-Pacific. The, the second sector would be the defense industry business. The third sector could be would be would be to talk about education and universities and ties between India and Spain in such topic. And the fourth sector could be, is going to be a, a, a thing that is an, a, a, a big asset we have in Spain, which is our language. We want to talk about Spanish language in India. That would be more or less the, the, main, the, the, the main objective of this forum. Right. Looking at Spain-India relations, I mean, I think last year our total trade ties was about $7.6 billion as per the government of India's estimates. So as a business person, as the as a vice chairman of Axiona, what are the challenges as a business person that you face when you're looking at projects in India and vice versa when Indians look at projects in Spain? And how do you think that this forum or this foundation could be a way to solve these sort of challenges in this relation, in this economic relationship? I think one of the objectives of the foundation is to, to show India uh, companies, which companies are important in which sectors in, in Spain. And we have very important companies in many sectors that are tier one in the world. And those companies, which are related to renewable energy, infrastructure, banking, education, automotive uh, components are really important and uh, they want to work here in India. And I suppose there are Indian companies that they want to work in Spain. At the very end, when you go to a new country, a bureaucracy, it's an important matter because you don't know how it works. So it's important to have good partners and the foundation looks for good partners. No? In this case, uh, uh, I think having a, the right partner uh, makes everything easy. And I think also there's another important thing. When you go to a third country, you have to analyze very well what are you going to add, what value-added things you have in your, in, your, in your company that is going to be different to, to what they are doing. For example, here in India, for us, we, have an, we are an infrastructure and renewable energy company. It's very difficult to compete building a road because you have very important Indian companies that are very competitive here. So we have to add something new. It should be a huge dam or a huge uh, tunnel, or in our case, to invest in, in renewable energy. We, we have invested, we have like 160, more than 160 megawatts in wind in, in Karnataka. And we are looking at a very important investment in the north of India, in Rajasthan, for a PV plant with 400 megawatts. And, uh, and uh, it's difficult for us to be competitive because we, we, we add to, to the profit we need, we add the risk of the country that Indian companies, which are powerful, don't have that, that added, uh, added, uh, uh, added risk. No? So we are, we are looking forward to, to work here. We were able to, 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 to tender for water, for water businesses. I think it's it. We were not 
enough competitive and, and we have to wait a little bit. So my next question would be, you uh, are part of a renewable energy company. And mm -hmm. I think there's been a lot of global conversations about this just transition. Mm -hmm. Making we, India has to do this transition, right? Mm -hmm. So as a Spanish company uh, working in the renewable energy space, where do you see India? How do you see India doing this transition? Oh, I and, think that yeah. India is, is, is doing the right thing. They are investing a lot of people. There are lots of, of megawatts being being produced and being tender for for auctions and for so i don't think there is a problem there uh, the problem is the price of energy i think it's it's low and it's difficult for foreign companies to compete here but uh, but the the government has the the mindset really uh, set to 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 produce renewable energy and by the way is the cheapest energy you can produce nowadays Right. And that my last question, one of one of the areas that you one of the areas that you had set was defense, defense cooperation. Mm -hmm. Right. I just want to understand why uh, and what are the avenues for Spanish Indian defense cooperation? And why did the foundation look at this facet as a means to sort of build the Spanish Indian ties? I think Spain has the possibility of not being the contra Russia. I mean, to be in something independent with very good technolo technology. We have very good companies like Indra, like Navantia, that they they really they really are competitive. And we just and, I, and Airbus, they just they just we just uh, Spain just uh, signed a deal with the sale of one hundred something planes, and they are tendering and and about to win a submarine and uh, and. So there is a lot. There is a lot of first of all because we are an independent country with technology and with, and with, one of the good things about Indian space that we don't have irritation, past mm. irritation. We, we we've never been fighting for nothing. I mean, we are we are countries that uh, that we didn't have a lot of relationship and now we are starting to have it. So it's easy. We don't have a past history, mm. a common history together. Right. So, so that was my last question. Uh, uh, and thank you so much for having this conversation with the print. Do tune in and subscribe for more such conversations. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.